Peter is doing bad. Peter's doing bad. Peter is still on his conspiracy kick. Surprise. Not only that, but Peter has actually worsened to the point that, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to play it and we will uh, check it out. We'll check the bingo card after this one. Um, I just want to keep it moving. I'll check the bingo card after this video. Welcome back, Patriots. It's your optimistic Trump supporter here, and I have a message directly from Trump. You're going to find this in the last two pages of the... He cracked out the whiteboard for this one, so you know he's nailing it. Actually, is he is he filming a computer screen? I think he's filming a computer screen. New book that Trump's selling. It says, America, our journey continues. Together, we will take our country back. We will win. Wow. How does he find new ways to come off as incredibly strange the way he films things in every video? The last one he started right here so close to the camera. Now he's even closer and he's like flipping the thing around and the lighting's weird. Oh, can you believe it guys? <laughs> Sorry I have to adjust the camera like that. <laughs> I am just trying to get the video done so this is really exciting for many reasons other than the fact this is like the hundredth time he said it. okay i'm exaggerating 50th time he said something like this either um you know written or in in public statements or speeches or what have you he's been saying this optimistic message we will win we will win we will win we are peter he's a politician he's a public figure and he plans on running in 2024 he wants to hype people up. He's a hype man. It's his job. Winning, it's all gonna work out. Our brightest days are just ahead in the very near future. All this good stuff that we wanna hear. And it's important because even if he says it in one rally, that doesn't reach the entire base. So it's important that he makes it crystal clear that we are on the winning team, we are winning, and we can have faith that it's all gonna work out. So I'm very excited about this, guys, and I hope that you guys are excited as well because we are winning. And let me give you two examples. So I just noticed Peter's wearing a bullet necklace. He certainly has a theme going on, doesn't he? Let's do some of these bit messages real quick. Blackwing Hackety says, as a, as a proud Bostonian, screw that lady. Tucker White says, I think Hannah's capitalism chip mail function for a second given that scam Freudian slip. Mystic Millennial says, there's a childlike innocence in Peter that is extra sad. Nick says, wow. And Tucker White says, come on, Peter. It's not a hard to film the screen. I just figured out Hypercam in 2010 when I was a sophomore in high school. Hey, Rin. There is a lot of brainwashing going on, and there's a lot of attacking our bodies going on. I, I would agree that there was a lot of brainwashing going on, Peter, but I think we would disagree about who is being brainwashed. Basically, our bodies and minds have been poisoned by the deep state, and the good news is that Team Trump has been curing us very methodically. Hopefully I said that correctly. Methodically. Methodically. And have I seen Battlestar Galactica, great sci-fi show? No, I haven't. I plan on it. That was, was that Robert D. Moore? He did some good episodes of Star Trek TNG, if I remember correctly. The way they've been curing our mind is by reprogramming us in this information war with different tools, mostly digitally, you know, through this messaging and these campaigns. And I think you guys know a lot of different ways that we've been reprogrammed. Yes, deep state on bingo. And this is causing a great awakening. We are waking up from this spell that deep state has put on us. I can't speak on behalf of you guys, but me personally, I have awakened thanks to Team Trump. I am awake. I am finally fully aware of what is going on, of the influences on my mind, the programming, what's been blasted, all the noise. And it's so refreshing to be out of the matrix i'm gonna make a very big video on the new matrix movie i think it's a white hat movie uh so many good quotes and i still haven't seen the new matrix movie so i can't speak to any of his claims on the new matrix movie nick says the biggest tool of course being donald trump and but basically it, it it talks a lot about politics without talking about politics and 
basically misunderstanding the trans allegory in the matrix on bingo you know what sure <laughs> if you are is he wearing a crystal no that's a bullet is that better or is it worse that it's a bullet he's wearing a bullet necklace are listen to you know fox news or listen to cnn or listen to msnbc and all these things or listen to biden and you're just gobbling it up you are by peter why do you think we listen to biden like you listen to trump i don't even like biden i think biden's doing a dog shit job he's basically given up completely on any sort of federal covid response um he went back on his promise to cancel student debt like he's dog shit don't get me wrong i'm glad i voted for him i think he's better than trump but he's doing a bad job and he's probably gonna lose in 2024 because of it unless he changes a lot of stuff he has been away thanks for 13 months and by the way i do understand that he's working with a congress with like multiple democratic uh senators that are dog shit that won't actually do their job and are voting against the best interests of the american people which i expect from republicans but you know manchin and cinema are being big pieces of dog shit so i understand that to an extent you know but he said and he claimed during the election like he's gonna cancel student debt unilaterally using um executive powers he hasn't even tried now he says he's not even gonna do it so that's a fuck him on that one and the you know the other stuff by definition in the matrix and if you are awakened to the fact that all this programming is being pushed on us to get us to behave in a certain way then you are out of the matrix and if you are totally a free thinker and you can tell all these guys it's not a crystal it's a bullet this guy come up fall and says fuck joe biden unlike chuds we actually have the guts to say it programs and how they're influencing your thoughts is there any help we can send this is getting scary no what are we gonna do guys peter's in his 30s he has family around him he's married he has kids um child protective services have already checked in and said they don't see anything actionable so it is what it is consciously and subconsciously and you're a huge trump supporter and you are fully aware of what's going on politically it could be said that you are out of the matrix in the sense that in my opinion the matrix movie is uh, a symbol for what's happening i don't think it's literal uh but i'll get into that in my <laughs> Peter has cracked the amazing code that the Matrix is symbolic of something. That's a that's a high IQ move right there. Review later. I think that we have been put into a matrix of the mind, and Trump is curing our mind. It still worries you that he has kids. I mean, it worries me too, but I I can't do anything about it. It is what it is. I have no power. Bye reprogramming us and we can stop and what's super duper Peter. exciting is you know what i'm gonna say right true stop getting so close to the camera truth social and this is this is the reason i'm so excited about it a lot of people are waking up and the trust in biden is going down 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 i think i saw a poll today it was like what was it 17 percent of people trust uh by Bi biden on Tucker White says if Biden had a backbone, he'd bring Manchin into his Oval Office, lock the door, and tell him unless he plays ball, we're going to go after your daughter for all the illegal shit she's doing as the CEO of Mylan. I don't know anything about that. Nick says, I can't wait until the 21st of February to see how dog shit Truth Social is. Yeah, that'll be interesting. COVID and like his... Did he give a percentage? I missed it if he did. No, that's not a confidence interval. He's talking about a poll he saw. Biden is going down, down, down. I think I saw a poll today. It was like, what was it? Seventeen percent of people trust uh, Biden on COVID, and like his approval rating is just like. Yeah. So, so think about it for a second, right? So if if people are trusting the narrative less, CNN, CNN, their prime time, um, which is when you know they get the most money. And the last year has gone down, the, the amount of viewers and their prime time where they make the most money has gone down 94%. Oh my, you can't. I find that claim interesting because it tells me Peter has no way of contextually thinking. That doesn't surprise me. Peter, last year at this same time, what was going on that would maybe cause people to be tuning into CNN and other news networks at a higher rate? Could it be that we just had a presidential election? Could it just be that we had more political engagement than in any election in American history 
and that a sitting president was denying that he lost an election that he lost, and then there was an insurrection attempt. Yeah, I'm not surprised they had almost doubled the viewers last year at this time. Shit was fucking crazy. Same thing happened to my channel. Um, during all that stuff, I had the highest views I've ever had on Twitch. Don't get me wrong, I still continue to grow, you know? Um, I know he said 94%, which is almost 100% more, which would be almost double. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I've continued to grow, but like that January was just nuts. Everyone was like watching political Twitch um, during that time. It was absolutely insane. So I imagine the same goes for more traditional cable news media and stuff like that. Kidding me? In a year. So people are not watching the news anymore, way less, they're not being- It's not an election year, Peter. Or at least, you know, the last year hasn't been. Brainwashed by all that deep state stuff. We are awakening, but at the same time, a lot of these people are hungry for truth. They want red pills. Give me red pills. Give me red pills. I want red pills. But- A lot of these people are hungry for truth. They want red pills. Give me red pills. Give me red pills. I want red pills. But where do you get them? Not on Wikipedia. Wikipedia censored. YouTube censors. Twitter censored. Facebook censored. Google censored. Everything censored. So where are you going to get your red pills? So they're hungry for truth. And where are they going to get the truth, huh? Because as much as people try to put the truth out, it gets censored. So there is so much hunger for truth because the narrative they've yeah, Wikipedia doesn't censor. Wikipedia is curated by um, Wikipedia editors who are volunteers who, as I understand it, there's a lot of Wikipedia editor drama bullshit, uh, especially on contentious pages, but they do a good job. Um, I think you would consider censoring just removing incorrect information because, you know, he's incorrect about most things about reality. Nerdini Owl says his own views have probably taken tanked even worse than CNN or anyone else's, funnily enough. Yeah, maybe. Rageology says, I started watching you at that time. I came for the chudge, stayed for the tinfoil. Chaos as your friend says, we need a too close for comfort square on the bingo card. I've been pushing is not believed anymore. And so where are we going to get this truth from? True Social. Mark my words. True Social will become the number one website in the world for acquiring, acquiring the truth, because the truth will not be attacked there. Truth will be supported, boosted, fueled to the maximum there. And that's important because with a whole bunch of people who are confused, they don't know what to believe, but they don't really believe the narrative and they really want those red pills, they're gonna end up on true social and they're gonna just stumble on red pill, red pill, red pill, red pill, and they wake up and they get out of the matrix. True social is literally going to unplug Possibly hundreds of millions of people from the Matrix, so. Hundreds of millions of people. Peter, why would people use Trump's social media site if they weren't already fans of Trump and weird Trump conspiracy theories? Like, at best, people are going to go and post a bunch of furry porn to troll people like you. Which will be funny, and I'm sure it'll be full of Trump supporters. But it's also going to be full of a lot of porn that gets posted by furries, I guarantee it. Very, very exciting how this career in their mind. But how is Trump curing our body? And that is interesting. Oh God, this gets bad. This gets so bad, guys. Let me be clear. I do not endorse anything he says. Peter is not a doctor. Peter is not any sort of medical authority. Peter knows nothing about medicine. Peter is a rube who believes that weed is medicine for everything. He thinks it can literally cure almost any disease. He thinks it's a panacea. He is incorrect. He has no idea what he is talking about. And he is about to make some of the most absurd and dangerous claims I have ever heard. To the point that I am actually going to do something I've never done on Peter's channel and I am going to report this video. I normally don't because Peter has a very small following. And I figure, you know, whatever. All he's doing is giving me content, and I don't think he's really harming anyone with how crazy he's being. This is one of the most harmful claims I've ever heard anyone make on the internet, uh, i.e., or no, about COVID. I don't know which one I'm supposed to use. So, to be clear, I do not endorse any of this. I'm talking about this for educational purposes to talk about the dangers of conspiracy theories. Nothing he is about to say is true. Do not listen to him. Okay? 
Legal disclaimer. Disclaimed. Tucker White says, I can't wait for uh, Truth Social's launch. It's either going to be a ghost town or full of gay porn. Question to ask. And in my opinion, I'm hearing some very interesting theories. I want to know what your thoughts are on this, but Omicron came out, right? And I'll give you guys a link to report it to when we get to the point that's reportable. What's interesting about Omicron it is not a mutation of COVID. It is, not it is a mutation of COVID. Omicron is a mutation of COVID-19. It is a variant of that virus. To be clear, hydrate. Not a naturally occurring variant of COVID. It is. It is a naturally occurring variant. I guarantee it's not the last one we're going to see. It is just boom, a period out of nowhere. And what's interesting about Omicron is that, from what I can tell, it hasn't really, um, it hasn't killed a single healthy person that I'm aware of. That is factually incorrect. There are some, some anecdotal reports that Omicron may be milder. However, it is much more uh, spreadable. It spreads much more easily. Many people have died of Omicron, mostly unvaccinated people. Please get vaccinated. Take this seriously. Peter is an idiot who gets all his information from crazy conspiracy websites. And by the way, guys, this isn't even the crazy claim I'm worried about yet. Prepare. Maybe it's killed someone who is really, really sick, supposedly, but it hasn't killed anyone that I'm aware of um, scientifically and, and definitely not any young person. Very mild. Uh, dead children. Omicron variant. How many children have died from the Omicron 19 variant? Let's see. In the United States, that's about percentage of children. Ba -ba -ba. Where's the... Just give me the answer. Ba -ba -ba. led to a record-breaking increase in pediatric hospitalizations, especially among young and unvaccinated children. Um, around 824 children are being hospitalized each day in the U.S., up to around 62% from last week, or up around 62% from last week. Uh, for children under five who are not able to get the vaccine, the rate of hospitalization has doubled what it was a month ago. Georgia is one of more than 20 states that have over 8% of their hospitalization beds filled. Um... Uh, 22 children with COVID under their care on January 5th. That number was 118. Deaths are not reported by variant strain, and thus knowing the number of fatalities in children from Omicron is not possible. Since the 11th of December, tragically, nine deaths have been reported amongst people younger than 15. So we don't know based on variant, apparently. But children are still dying from COVID, Peter, you absolute monster. You know, kids like you have... Your kids are unvaccinated because you refuse to vaccinate them? Because in my opinion, you're a bad parent? Mild symptoms was extremely contagious, but supposedly, I mean, guess what? Here comes the claim. This is going to be it. What I'm hearing, I can't totally verify it, but they're calling Omicron a vaccine. Because if you get Omicron, they're claiming that you will become immune to like 30 or 40 different types of COVID. This is untrue. This is untrue. This is a lie. Peter is wrong. Do not catch COVID. Do not get Omicron intentionally. I have a really, really, really bad feeling that Peter is going to try, and this is just something I'm afraid is going to happen. I am so afraid that Peter is going to intentionally try and get himself and his children infected with COVID because he now thinks that Omicron is a medicine. He goes on to say that literally in a little bit, by the way. He literally thinks not only will it give you vaccination status, which it absolutely does not, vac or, um, natural uh, antibody response does not stay in your system the same way that the vaccines do. 
No, Peter. You stupid bitch. You stupid, stupid bitch. Absolutely not. Let's continue on. And coronavirus is a flu, so it's almost like a uh, vaccine that's going to spread worldwide and cure everyone. The coronavirus is a coronavirus. It is not a flu. One, which is very, very interesting. And uh, what's interesting about that is that we were told about three years ago, before the pandemic even started by Team Trump, that the cure will spread worldwide. And at the time, I was like, what does that mean? A lot of people are like, eh, what does that mean? They try to decipher what that meant, but they couldn't figure it out. And then all of a sudden, the pandemic hits. And everyone's like, what's the cure? How do we cure ourselves, right? What's going to happen? And then Omicron comes out and then they're calling it a vaccine. Like, I No one is calling it that, Peter. Let me be clear. No one is calling it that other than fucking crazy people. It is not. Peter, listen to me. No, you are wrong. You're getting scammed is at the point where you are going to harm your family. Stop. I, I can't confirm this. I'm just saying what I've been hearing. And so there's people who are claiming on my side of the aisle that Omicron- Your side of the aisle is full of fucking crazy people that are waiting for JFK Jr. to rise from the goddamn dead, Peter. You are wrong. Could have been released by Team Trump, Team God, and it will spread worldwide, get everyone massive immunity. And that would kind of end the pandemic in its tracks because now we all have immunity to uh, coronavirus A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All That's not how it works, Peter. That's not how it works. All of them uh, that were maybe going to come out, who knows? So if this is an Omicron that's going to come out and it's going to give everyone immunity to all these coronaviruses and it is the best thing ever is literally a vaccine come out and it's going to give everyone immunity to come out who knows so D E F G, all of them uh that were maybe going to come out who knows so here's the link to report this it is literally at this timestamp. so just use this timestamp and report this video because peter's going to get someone killed peter is going to kill someone and convince them that they need to go and get themselves infected because they think it's a good thing he is wrong and he is going to hurt people please report this video i'm going to do so right now and i understand we all enjoy watching peter i get it but he is harming people now this has crossed a line where he is harming people so at this point we need to get his channel removed when he breaks tos like this i've been very nice with peter now he is hurting people. Reported. Okay, let's finish this up. I know I have a bunch of bit messages, but I'm gonna wait till the end of the video to finish them or to do them. If this is an Omicron that's gonna come out and it's going to give everyone immunity to all these coronaviruses and it is the best thing ever is literally a vaccine. It sounds like something that Team Trump referenced three years ago when they said the cure will spread worldwide. I don't know, I wanna hear your thoughts on that. This is a common belief now among my community and so it's very 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 interesting that uh on one peter your community are full of idiots your community are full of brainwashed idiots side team here's the link again hydrate trump is curing our mind red pilling us the great awakening right and then on the other hand you have omicron that's giving us a ton of protection and healing our body, or at least protecting our body, I guess you could say. So in some cases, I can't go into this about, but in some cases it appears that Omicron can actually heal our body 
from certain damages of certain things. So it heals. Peter literally believes that Omicron will heal your fucking body. It's a disease, Peter. That's the opposite of what it does. It heals us, it protects us. Um, heals us of some specific things, like we have a ton of different COVID viruses or cold virus. It, it supposedly uh, heals us from that and then cures us from that and then protects us from it. This is what's being said. I can't confirm or deny, but it's a very, very, very interesting theory because I, I think that that was the purpose of all this. You know, this is a huge war. It's an information war, but same. Has anyone seen that John Doyle's store has been updated with a salty message? Let's see. Our store is closed for restocking. It'll be reopened in 2022. We announced that we were taking the store down at the end of the year like five times, but leftists, people who claim to be against mega corporations, claim that they got our store taken down by Disney after trying to snitch on us for selling epic merch that was covered under fair use. That's not what fair use means, John, you stupid bitch. The store will reopen once we restock with new designs, but in the meantime, remember that every leftist is ugly and miserable without exception. So true. For questions regarding current orders, please contact us. <laughs> I'm not mad. You're mad. Okay, John. Try not to do copyright infringement in the future, you dumb bitch. At the same time, this collateral damage, a lot of people are dying, and the question is, how is Team Trump going to protect us and save us? And it appears that on a software level, we are being awakened and True Social is going to be the main, I guess you could say, operating system that is going to be implemented on Earth that will um, install new, fresh um, system operating systems in, your, in people's minds worldwide that's going to help clean them, give them back their free will so that they can no longer be a mess with uh, to such an What did I report the video as? Dangerous acts? extent where they're he's just selling under the table then probably they're just being brainwashed by the media and true social is going to be that new operating system just a truthful operating system clean it's going to wipe away a bunch of the stuff that have been put in people's minds that's not true and give them a bunch of truth so they can function well and then there's because you're functioning super well currently peter clearly maybe omicron coming in and he's wiping away a bunch of other stuff and then you know who knows maybe med beds are coming along too so there's a lot of Believes in sci-fi technology on the bingo card. Peter, there's no such thing as med beds. They're not a real thing. Not a thing. Exciting stuff happening. And uh, what's interesting is I said in my previous video, the ties are turning. And then Rod Watkins came out and said, like, the ties are turning. So I think this is a feeling among the movement where the fact that True Social is coming out next month and that Omicron's coming out and, and people are being protected in mind and body and everything's getting better. It does feel like the ties are turning. I'm very excited. So hopefully... It's all going to work out. I have to get to something. So I will be, I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Scary reminder that he has children just off camera. Bless you and God bless America. That's horrifying. Peter is, in my opinion, a really bad guy. And I don't think he is on it. I don't think he is intentionally. I don't. I just think Peter is so ignorant that he is actively harming people. And that's why you should report that video. So that's it. Uh, that's, uh, that's Peter's thing. Really, really bad, really scary. Let's move on.